In this video, I'm going to start adding some directors and project managers to my accounts object. Then would like to go through the difference between adding fields to a user role. So these are the set fields that are in a user role, whether you add fields at a user role level or adding fields at the accounts level. So let's add some records first of all. So I'm gonna to go to the records section and I'm going to go into the director role and add some directors. I've added three fake people here, Darren, Director, Dave, and Duncan. So I'm now going to add some project managers. And I've added four project managers, Mary, Mike, Mark, and Mandy. So if I go to the accounts level, you'll see that I have all eight of my users at the accounts and they're broken down by the user role. So I have myself as an admin, three directors, and four project managers. The user accounts and user roles offer you a lot of flexibility in how you'd like to build your application. As I've mentioned before, this video series is very much about the way that I build applications. So I just want to take a moment to talk about the difference of adding additional fields in a user's account as opposed to the user role. So currently we are at the accounts level. So we have three user roles underneath and each of these user roles has the standard fields which you can't remove. So this is the admin user role, the director, and the project manager. And if I look at the records, I have four project managers, uh, I have three directors, and one admin. And they all roll up into the eight accounts that I have in the system. For the project manager, I may want to capture a telephone number, so I could quite happily add a field to this table and add a phone number field. I'm simply going to add a standard field with no customization and look at my records. So I now have a phone number field, but this phone number field only exists in this project manager role. If I go to the director role, I don't have that field in this role. So if the project manager is never going to change roles, adding a phone number field to Mandy is fine. But if I went into the accounts object and changed Mandy, from a project manager to a director and removed her project manager role, that telephone number doesn't get moved across to the director. So now here is Mandy as a director and the phone number hasn't moved across to this role and it won't move across if you're changing user roles. So to safeguard this, I always put my additional fields at the accounts level. So I'm just going to come into that project manager role and I'm going to remove the phone number from here and then the accounts, I would add a field here for the phone number. Now we go to records, I'm looking at the top of the accounts object. So now I could quite safely come into this role and Mandy is currently a director. So I've added her phone number to her as a director. And if I go into the, the director's roles, Mandy sits here with a director role with no additional information because that information is held at the top level on the accounts. So Mandy's phone number's here. So if Mandy now changes back to a uh, project manager, nothing's changed here. This data is still safe, but she is no longer with a role of a director. She is now back into the role of a project manager. And I simply use the user roles to allow different levels of access to certain pages and certain views. All of my additional fields I would put at the accounts object so that if someone changes role, the data is secure. In the next video, we will be connecting directors to companies.